What's gonna happen here? Car right. Hold your line. Alright guys, hello, welcome to another race video. Today we're back in the Mozza F3 series for my absolute favorite circuit, Spa. Now we've had a bit of a disastrous day so far today. Uh, a couple of uh, nasty accidents in the two races beforehand, one of which was absolutely my fault, and the second one of which was uh, maybe my fault as well. Not so sure about that one. So really hoping for a clean race now. We're starting from sixth on the grid for this one. And I've got to say a big thank you as well to Mozza for sponsoring, or Mozza Racing for sponsoring today's video. You can check all of their gear out via the link in the description below as you can see here we're running their FSR wheel in case you're wondering what that is. And a big thank you to them for sponsoring this series and today's racing video. So six on the grid as I was saying. And uh, yeah, it's a longer race here, 13 laps. So a lot of things can happen. We'll try and keep it as clean as we possibly can. Always a little bit sketchy in these open wheelers but uh, we'll do our absolute best to put on a nice entertaining race for you today. P6, All right, 13, here we go. Oops. Try not to screw up the start. Okay, mate, get ready, relax. Go, go, go. Bit of wheel spin, not ideal, but we're okay. Had to back out of the throttle there a little bit too. Really not ideal getting wheel spit off the start. But we're okay. Oh. Left side. Hold your line. Clear left on your left. Clear left. Okay, Will. Left side. Whoa, dude. Clear left. <laughs> okay, somehow we've survived. Far out. Clear left, car left, clear left. Whoa, so much understeer. <laughs> All right, we've got a car very, very close behind here. Whoa, we've got bouncing cars now too, a bit of net code. <laughs> we don't want that. On your left. Get down the inside Still of there. him. Clear left. Okay. The leader's running away. We do not want to let that happen. I feel like I got, I mean, it's early stages yet, but I feel like I got more pace than the couple of guys in front of me here, maybe. We, uh, I was a little, I was about 0.4 of a second off my pace or my ideal pace, I should say, in qualifying. So that would have put me probably second on the grid. So I'm hopeful here. Left side. Hold your line. Clear left. <laughs> Bit of a send there from behind. Be keen to have a look at the replay of that one. I did break very early there, just to avoid a concertina. Try and get the power down well, okay. Really need to try and not let the leader get away here. This is terrific, exactly what we came here for, P5. That's not what we came here for, Jim. We want to win. Or at least get on the podium. 0.6 second gap behind, okay. We're gonna have to get aggressive now. Yeah, I definitely have more pace than these guys, or than the guy directly in front anyway, so. He was braking way earlier than me. We're gonna have to figure out a way past before Irwin gets past. Come on, okay. Settle.
Lost my nerve a little bit there in the middle sector. Dropped me back a bit. These guys might be settling into, I might have underestimated their pace. But it's a long race. Now we've got a bit more of a gap here. I can break in my normal spots and see what happens. Got one on my outside here. Hold your line. Still there. Still there. We've got the inside line. line here. Hold your line. Hold your line. Clear left. Didn't want to compromise my exit there too much. All right. Let's do this. The leader has just done a 213.3. We're gonna have a slipstream train going on here. On your left. Still there. Clear left. Whoa, three wide. Come on, Will. Don't let him get away. Ah, oh, that was a good move, though. He did well. Very nice move. Got past the two of us. All right, come on. Oh, understeer, come on. I think I spooked myself in the last race. I had a big accident trying to overtake somebody on Camel Straight. He kind of wasn't really picking a line and I went to go down the inside and he moved across. But I probably picked the wrong line. I think I've spooked myself a little bit. It's lost, I've lost my confidence in overtaking. We can't afford to sit behind these guys though. We've got to get a crack on if we're going to get into the podium positions. That's a new fastest lap for Minor, 213.0. Let's get a good run here. Sixth place. That was such a sweet move by Irwin, though. Okay, Will, stay close. Wait for him to make a mistake. I don't think he's going to make a mistake, Jim. Oh, a little lock up. No, oh, understeer again, come on. Gotta be so careful not to completely cook the tires too. We had that happen in Circuit of the Americas a couple of weeks ago, if you remember cooked my rear tyres and then had no pace the second half of the race. Well, we've got these two guys getting wide there. Irwin versus Tatsuya. Got a few Japanese guys in this race as well. Good to see some uh, Japanese guys. Don't often race at the same time as they're on. Oh, 
we're just gonna have to send it mate. Oh, that's gonna cost us a little too greedy on the front of it. Let's see if we can gain again. Oh, that's a real shame. Just a little too greedy on that throttle. Lucky we didn't put it in the wall there. Just so those little moments that I always seem to have in this car just really rattle my confidence. I've got decent pace on a hot lap, but yeah, I just got to spend more time driving this car, I think. It's such a tricky car. See if we can gain up on them again. Just trying to keep it real smooth. It's better. A bit more grip again now. Okay. Pretty even on pace now. Okay, well, keep on on the pressure. He'll make a mistake. Hopefully he makes a mistake. Well, I don't want to rely on mistakes to make overtakes. Good, didn't make the same mistake again. <laughs> the leader's just done it, 2.13. It's not quite close enough, but I'm pretty fast through the next section of corners, I think. So that's where we're gonna gain. We're just slightly outside of the suck zone at the moment, no slipstream. The gap in front is now 0.8. See if we can gain a bit here. Whoa, those rear tyres, gotta take it easy. Oh, got one wide. Stay on it, there'll be a chance. Maybe there'll be a chance. Is that an off track? Yeah, it was an off track. It was a little greedy, but it did get us closer. Little greedy with the track limits there. We've got a decent run though. Oh, he's locked up. Left side, oh. clear left. <laughs> That's one way of getting past. Jeez. Got a box full of neutrals there too for a second. It's probably the weirdest overtake I think I've ever done. <laughs> Got it done though. I think he just outbraked himself. This is great, E5. All right. 
right, we've got to gain two more positions though to get on the podium. At least we've got some clear road at the moment to Tetsuya. See if we can gain. Rear tyres are starting to get a little more slidey now. Just don't want to overdrive the car and cook those tyres. If we can conserve the tyres, that will pay dividends later. Still got Hiramasa very close behind too. He's certainly not out of the picture yet. Don't let this guy intimidate you. Trying not to, or oh, he was much faster through that chicane. The battle's on. Okay, well, half distance. We think about seven laps remaining on this tank. That's all right. We don't need that many laps. Fixed setup, so I hope we've got enough fuel. He's got to run. Is he going to go for a dive? All right. Stay right. Good move. Don't let him get away. Very nicely done. Just want to keep it clean. Stay with him. there for him. Should we can get a run on into the final chicane again. Good race so far. Don't jinx it. Careful now. Right side, on your right, clear right. A little bit of a lock up there on my front left. Had to back out of the brakes there for a second, which cost me, but we survived. Oh, he's got a bad exit. What's gonna happen here? Right. Hold your line. Clear right. Oh, around the outside for a rouge. Come on, Will. Nicely done. <laughs> I can't see my heart rate at the moment, but it must be up around 140, 150. I'd say that was intense. <laughs> Losing the back end of the car a little bit here. Oh, 
all sorts of understeer all of a sudden. Still all over me. Drop back a little bit. Still definitely not the safe distance behind though. Tatsuya's checked out up ahead. So the battle's for six, I think. I'm just happy to be having a nice clean battle with Hiramasa at the moment. This is fun. Still there. Oh, somebody's had a spin. Okay, okay well, push now. We'll catch up here. What was that all about? Didn't see what happened there, but we lost a couple of cars ahead, I think. Great stuff. Keep it coming, mate. P4. So P4. Four, three, wow. Nine, okay. Nine, six, off the pace. It was a collision. Two is I'll take that. <laughs> Definitely have a look at the replay on that one. Oh, the rear tires are starting to go. I just don't have the confidence in this car. Like I was saying before, I could be quick on a hot lap, but Opened up a bit more of a gap behind. He's definitely faster through sector two and sector three. I think I'm faster through sector one. Back down to 0.5 second gap again. It's not over yet. Make him do all the three work. more laps to go. Exits. Don't cook the rears. Try to get a straight line out. Stored him on the apex a little bit there just to try and get a better getaway. Helped a bit. That's your quickest lap. Uh, it's a shame those guys crashed in front though. 0.7 of a second gap now. We still might see an incident between Erwin and Matthew there in front. Come on rear tyres, stay with me. He's definitely faster through sector two and three. Just got the edge of him on sector one.
can't shake him. At least he's not quite as close as lap. Two more to go. Come on. Get that power down, come on. He's closer again. Point five. Two laps remaining. The guy behind has just done a two thirteen point two. All right, well, don't let this guy distract you. Don't want to weave. Point four. Make him pick a side here if he's going to make a move. Still that half second gap. You're pulling away from the guy behind. We're all pulling the away, now, apparently. Might have had a little moment there. Tires are still feeling okay, the fronts are alright, the rears are definitely more slippery than they were for the first few laps of the race, but nothing like what we had in Circuit of the Americas a couple of weeks ago, so I've still got a bit of confidence and he's almost a second behind now, coming into the final lap, let's see what we can do. Slightly bigger gap than previous laps. All right, we're just going to keep it clean for one more lap, guys. The leader has just done a 212.7. We had no chance of staying with the leader today. 212.7 with the tyres in this condition is bloody fast. All right, final lap. That was a 213.4. One second gap behind still. He's not within striking distance anymore. We just got to keep it clean. Still point nine. That's the part that he's much faster than me through, so. Maybe he's cooked his tires, maybe he's been overdriving it a little bit. We'll see in the replay. Back down to 0.7, he's gained a bit. Unless we really screw up the final chicane, I think we're okay. Although the start finish line is past turn one of the GP circuit, which is what I'm used to, so I gotta remember to keep driving. <laughs> Is 
All right, is he going to go for a dive? 0.6. Nah, we made it. Woo! <laughs> oh man, that was a fun race. Definitely keen to see what that incident was too, but uh, oh, we kept our head. Didn't make any silly mistakes. And there's the finish. Good result, mate. Well Not done. overly aggressive. Could have definitely been a little bit more aggressive in a few spots there, but it's, it's funny because you like you get criticized for not being aggressive enough, but when you've done, you know, when you spent the whole day trying to record a race, <laughs> the last thing you want to do is throw it away by being, uh, by doing something silly or taking somebody else out of the race as well. So, uh, and especially after a couple of sloppy mistakes in the previous races, I didn't want to do anything silly in this one. So let's uh, jump in now. I'll have a look at the replay key moments and then we'll have a look at the results. All right, so let's start off by looking at this absolutely horrendous start here. Two bouts of wheel spin there. I just let out the clutch too quickly. Very lucky we didn't lose our left front there as well, but kept it nice and clean. Now we're only gonna go through the sort of highlights and lowlights here for the replay. We're not gonna make you sit through the entire race a second time, of course. I just wanna have a quick look at what played out at the end of Kemmel here. I think I was really conservative in the braking zone here, probably a little bit too conservative, but I wanted to survive the race after the two races that I had before, especially with two accidents being my fault too. I, uh, you know, I wanted to be nice and conservative and just be sensible. There was an accident there though. Let's have a quick look at what happened there. So car number two, currently in position number three. What's gonna happen here? So these two got tangled up there and, oh! <laughs> Let's, uh, let's maybe do a far chase there, see exactly what happened. So, I got a feeling he didn't leave room for two cars. These two are already squeezed. Oh, yeah. I, definitely not enough space for two cars on the inside there. Hmm. So, a couple of corners later now, following me again. Just managed to sneak one down the inside around here with... Oh, he did actually spin. <laughs> And then coming into the final chicane, following behind Irwin here. See me on the inside, he braked really, really, really late. A little sideways there, lucky to hold on to that one. Tried to sneak down the inside, but couldn't quite make it too much uh, exit speed compromise there. We ended up having a similar little uh, tussle on the next lap as well, so let's check that out. So again, coming into that final chicane, end of lap two now. Exactly the same move as the lap before. Again, I'm being a little too conservative there. Managed to just have enough speed on the exit there to not let him get across and block the exit. So that gave us the inside line for what I call turn one, but it's actually the final turn in this layout. You can see, carried plenty of speed there. He's thinking about a switch back here. Didn't quite get the power down hard enough to make it stick for Eau Rouge and Radeon, but if we follow this through, if my memory serves me correctly, he did get past at the end of Camel. So let's have a look. Definitely strong slipstream going on. Thought about a move on the inside. I've kind of moved across to cover that line off. And I think he just kind of shot straight around the outside here. I was a little bit nervous again on the brakes on that inside line, not sure exactly. I need to do more practice on off lines, but that was a very clean move. I think he got past the next guy here as well, down the inside, so. Yeah, very nicely done. So end of lap six, this is Hiramasa who was directly in front of me. Still pretty close here, thinking about a move on the outside and he outbraked himself, locked up. Ooh, very lucky not to take out the Red Bull. And that just allowed us to sneak back past again. And this time on lap eight, Hiramasa again, with a nice clean move down the inside. Very nicely executed. So then end of the same lap, I had a pretty decent run coming into final chicane, but uh, ended up a little bit too ambitious, locked up all four tires there. And then he got a really bad run out of the final turn 
or turn one. So let's have a look at that turn one of the GP circuit. So what exactly happened here? Because this is where we ended up side by side through our rouge. So he's just run wide. I got a much better run. And I thought about backing out and overtaking on Kemmel. Then I thought there was more risk of uh, that not working than sort of following this one through. So side by side, nice and clean, left plenty of space. I was a little bit worried about losing the back end there, but kept it all nice and clean. So this is where position number four had a little spin as well. I wasn't sure if there was an accident or something, but yeah, you just, I've done that many times. <laughs> Can't lie, I've, I've had that same thing happen and it, it sucks. <laughs> Let us know in the comments if you've had that happen too. I'm pretty sure most of us have if we've driven this car on this track. Unfortunately, especially from fourth position though. And from there, it was uh, pretty much smooth sailing, just tire conservation and uh, not pushing too hard all the way to the end of the race. So let's jump in now and have a quick look at the results. All right, so we were split number two with a strength of field of 1660, so a little bit below where our I rating is. Now, unfortunately, we did uh, take a dive in I rating again this week. Purely my fault. I'm not going to blame anybody else for that. Two accidents, one of which was absolutely my fault. Uh, I just came in too hot and uh, locked up and went into somebody uh, on lap one, which always sucks. And then uh, second one was it was a bit of a it was a bit of a tussle down Kemmel Straight, and uh, a guy moved across when I was already sort of drafting down the inside. Probably could have backed out of it, but uh, it was a bit of a it was a bit of a racing instance, but probably more on the fault of my side than uh, than his on that case. So unfortunately, we lost a whole bunch of I rating, but deserved to do so. So I can't really complain about it. But anyhow, uh, how do we go? Plus 66 for this one, which takes us a nice little hit back up to where we were. I really want to get up above that 2000 mark again. Plus 17 on our safety rating as well, although that took a massive dump this week too. Uh, relative pace wise though, my best lap was a 213.3, which would have been with the toe. My all time PB is a uh, 2012.9, I believe. And I think my optimum, if you combine all the best sectors, it was a 212.7 or something like that. So decent, decent race pace there. Uh, you can see matching the guys that were around us here. So we, we ended up pretty much where we deserved to be at the end of the day after, you know, the, the crappy start and then a couple of other people having incidents too. So as always, thank you very much for watching, guys. Leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Let us know down in the comments below how we can improve it for the future. And a big thank you once again to Mozza Racing for sponsoring today's video. So thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you again very, very soon. Bye.